In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God's extraordinary intervention is a sure sign of his presence. For the times in which we fail to seek our God in our midst, we pause and ask our Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month, after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you, had let, but you had to lead us into the desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna up upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. 
Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord ate the bread of And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp, round about their tents. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, Sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil, and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. You, Looking around, most of you look old enough to remember the movie Mr. Holland's Opus. But maybe if you're like me, you forgot all the details. Uh, the story is about um, uh, Glenn Holland, a um, a, a band, a, a, a musician who aspired to be a great composer and write um, a great composition that would be remembered by all, but uh, unforeseen circumstances uh, change all of that, and he's he's forced to take a, a job as a music teacher uh, in a high school, uh, making just enough to pay the bills. It's supposed to be a temporary job, but as one year turns into thirty, he he comes to see that. Um, most of his students are what you might say musically bankrupt, um, and uh, but he's he's able to to uh, hone their musical skills and 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 uh, develop most of them and and really form one of the the greater bands in the area, and uh, but but even for those who have no musical potential, he's able to help them to um, uh, establish their or re refound their their self esteem and and to find some purpose beyond music in their lives. In June of 2018, the real Mr. Holland, Robert Moore, uh, was honored by his students when they all gathered together uh, to, to pay tribute and, to, and to, to provide one final performance for him and to, to recognize and thank him for uh, helping them find their own purpose in life and um, uh, find and be able to find and fulfill the, their God-given talents. Whoever has ears ought to hear. What do we hear from today's gospel, from this parable that we hear? I think more often than not, we, we're focused on the fruit, on the yield in our own lives. What can we produce to build the kingdom of God? And indeed, that is very important. But I think sometimes we fail to consider that um, seeds, uh, the seeds, we have very little control or uh, really can't determine where those seeds fall, those, those where we, uh, where our lives begin at. But what we can control is, is how we help move those seeds around that a lot of times seeds that fall on uh, other than the good soil um, with some assistance can move. 
Maybe you've often asked the question, why, uh, why are, are some people born into, into a good environment that is conducive for growth and, and provides direction and others are born into an environment that um, has little hope or very little direction? And maybe while that may frustrate us, may confuse us, I think the, the thing we need to focus on is that that can be changed, that we can influence uh, our own lives and the lives of others um, to be able to, to, to move, you know, even regardless of where they're born, what environment they're born into, that that can be corrected, that that can be improved uh, with, with assistance. If you're like me um, um, and you were born into an environment that uh, taught you right from wrong, it taught you the value of hard work and good education, well, we consider ourselves blessed indeed. And I think um, there is this inherent uh, uh, obligation that we pay that forward when we have that, and, and that is certainly true. But I think if you even go beyond that, there is, I think even more importantly, a privilege of being able to, being part of uh, helping somebody who is in economic or spiritual poverty, helping lift them and helping them find their purpose in life and be able to, uh, to, to, be able to contribute. And, and to feel fulfilled in what they do. But I think when we do this, we have to be prepared um, to, to not be recognized. You know, the, the attention is, uh, is on the fruit. It's not on moving the seeds, is it? Uh, when we produce something directly and we're seen for that, we get a whole lot more attention than um, when we assist somebody else, it's kind of like the, you know, there's not much attention given to the wind beneath the wings, but there's a lot of attention to the bird that, that is flying. But, um, you know, uh, I think many people will remember Mr. Holland, but who will remember Robert Moore? But I don't think it matters because I think really uh, what is important is those kind souls who, without any recognition, uh, make the effort, take the time, to help those that, that come into their lives that maybe were uh, those seeds that were planted on something other than good soil and help change their lives and help them improve their lives. Opportunities abound. They are all around us to, to encourage and to empower those who were born or who are in difficult environments to help them find their purpose, help them be fulfilled uh, in what uh, God calls them to do. And I think uh, while that is true, I think too often we can get focused uh, on producing our own economic fruit and we tend to lose sight of the forest through the trees. But I think if we can, um, if we can uh, uh, be focused on what is seemingly irrelevant, we can, like they say, um, uh, those things that we, that we, that we do uh, that aren't part of our real job, uh, or in fact, our real job. Let's pay attention to those opportunities that come across our lives today. Let us be prepared to move those seeds. We stand to place before our God all of our prayers of petition and of need. We pray for the church. May it be a catalyst in lifting those in poverty and helping them find their purpose in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord that each of us have the wisdom to encourage and inspire others to harness their God-given talents, even if it means our own recognition and success be mitigated. We pray to the Lord. Lord may those who labor in the fields be blessed with good weather and abundant crops. And may their yield be efficiently distributed and reduce poverty. We pray to the Lord. Lord that business owners find a purpose greater than profit and provide meaningful employment and fulfilling careers to their employees. We pray to the Lord. Lord that coastal areas and Caribbean islands be spared the devastating effects of hurricanes during this hurricane season. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, in particular for those for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. 
Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and all of those prayers that lie silently in our hearts, for we lift them up to you in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each is offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord, For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross, and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Now 
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O 
Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And as a reminder, on Wednesdays, we have Eucharistic Adoration from after Mass until 8 p.m. So please spend some time in prayer with our God.